guys, so today I'm gonna do the let's get ready with me tag, obviously, because that's what the title of the video is gonna say, I'm guessing. Um, I've always wanted to do this, but I didn't really know how, so I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. So I have a mirror here, I have this thing, and I have all of this product in front of me. That is what I normally use for um, getting ready for the day. So, here we go. So the first thing that, I, I literally haven't done anything. I got out of the shower and fixed plus my face just so it wouldn't completely fall off, but I literally haven't put on any moisturizer or anything. So the first thing is I'm gonna use my Lightful moisturizer. And I just take a scoop of that and run that all over my face. So, I'm just gonna put this on. What I like about the Lifehole cleanser and moisturizer and everything is that it does a really good job of taking down some of the redness in my skin. I touch my skin and it turns red, but after that, it um, really does a good job of taking down a lot of the redness for the rest of the day so that I don't have to worry about being super red faced. And the next thing is gonna be a little bit of fast response eye cream from MAC as well. And I'm just gonna put that on my ring fingers and blend that in. And that's just gonna help with dark circles and puffiness. And the next thing is the moisturizer feels pretty, pretty soaked in, so I'm gonna put on my primer, which I use the MAC Matte. Um, it's a texture cream, but I use it as my foundation primer just because it literally makes your skin feel like velvet. So I put on about, I don't know, like a pea size amount. And I just start um, on my cheeks and my forehead, normally because I do have a, like some stubble going on, uh, rubbing that through my stubble. Um, kind of makes the hair feel greasy. Okay. So that is everything for um, moisturizing and priming the skin. So the next thing is I'm gonna conceal with two different concealers. One is NW15 and one is NW20. So the 15 I'm going to put underneath my eyes. So just like right underneath my tear duct on each side. And then I'm just gonna dab that up my cheekbone. And then center of my nose, forehead. The next thing is just NW20, which is just a little bit closer to my skin tone. And that is what I use for any like blemish that I wanna conceal. Yeah, and then I'm gonna sort of contour-ish my nose, but it's just gonna give the highlight something to blend into so it's not so drastic. I'm gonna blend it in with a 188. I'm gonna start off with under my eyes. Just like that. And we're gonna blend in my forehead. And the center of my nose. And then the regular like spots that I don't like. So that is the first step that I do every morning. The next one is I use powders for the rest of my face. This one is medium plus, and that is my face color. And I'm just gonna put that on with a 109. And this is medium plus in Care Blend. And I'm just gonna put that through the parts of my face that I didn't put the concealer, the highlight concealer. So we're just gonna run that right through here and then when I get back down to where my stubble is going back in I just take the brush load up the product and instead of doing the normal circular motion I just do a downward stripe because then it lays the hair all in the same direction and fills everything in without looking like you just put a whole bunch of makeup over your your beard uh, and that is, that, that's what we're gonna do with the, ooh, Care Blend Medium Plus for the moment. 
So then I switch off to Care Blend in Dark, and we're just gonna use the same brush, and for this we're gonna use it as sort of like a contour, and we're just gonna push that right through the cheekbone. Using the same brush, just a 109. And then the sides of my nose, and then my temples. And then we're gonna go back in and blend that contour up towards the highlight, just so it doesn't look like I have too much of just a streak going on. The next thing we're gonna do is the uh, mineralized, ooh, it's dusty, mineralized skin finish in light. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 225, which is discontinued, but just a giant um, blending brush. You could use a 224, you could use the 109 that I've already used. There's a lot of things you can use. And we're just gonna run this right underneath the eye, down the center of the nose and the forehead, just to bring that highlight back into the face. Something just like that. And then I just take the medium plus care blend and the 109 one last time. And then I just blend into that powder. So then it brings just a little bit of warmth to that powder just because that light is very yellow and my skin tone is very pink. So it brings more of that pink back to that highlight but it still keeps that highlight in place without feeling lost. So the last uh, thing for foundation is uh, Fix Plus. And what I like to do before Fix Plus is do my eyebrows. So I just take a spoolie, run it through my brow, just to kind of get all the hairs going in the same direction. And then I use my brow set. It's from MAC as well. This one is just uh, Beguile. It's the same one that I used in, uh, I talked about in my um, mascara video. So the first section of both of my brows is fairly thick and dark, and um, I don't need very much there. So I just comb through the outer two thirds, outer two thirds of my brow and shape it that way. Cool, so now I'm just gonna use some Fix Plus. Fix Plus is like my favorite thing in the world. I could use a whole bottle of it every day. So I literally just drench my face in Fix Plus. Uh, one thing that's awesome about Fix Plus is it does take down redness because I have so much redness in my skin. And it's also gonna help to kind of blend the makeup into the same texture that you have going on with your skin. So instead of feeling like you have a whole bunch of powder on, it kind of just smooths everything over so it looks the same texture. And while that is drying, I'm gonna do um, eyeliner. This one is the Chromographic Pencil in NW20NC15. What I do is I just run this right through my waterline, and that just helps brighten everything up and kind of open up my eye. So, the last thing for the face, I guess that I've already said that, but the actual last thing, because I didn't see it, is some um, blush. So we're gonna use Prism. So we have Prism and Harmony. I have Harmony depotted, because I used to have it in one of my palettes, and then uh, I don't know why I don't have it in there anymore, but it fits perfectly inside there. So I just have Harmony and Prism both in the same thing, just because I didn't want it to get lost and broken even more than it is. So I just take Prism and pounce that right up my cheek. Run that right up the cheekbone. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Some lip cream. Mm-hmm just like that, and then it is all hydrated, is we're gonna use some different things in my hair, just because it's so short, and I have this cowlick, and I don't like it, um, when it falls down, 
I want it to be kind of in place. So this is the Bamboo Shine. Uh, I just use about like a quarter sized amount um, through my hair. Still Cream Brilliance, I guess it's actually called. And I just run that all through my hair. And then a little bit of the Get Dirty Jonathan Silky Dirt. What I like about both of these is it doesn't leave your head feeling gelled or glued down. That throughout the day you can still run your hand through your hair and kind of move it around. That's like one of my least favorite things is when you like touch your hair and it's like, like solid rock like hairspray. So, I just run that right through. And once that is dry, it stays in place pretty well. It just keeps my cowlick from moving down. So we have skin, brows, lips, hair, done. And I guess if you wanted to, you could run some of this through your lashes, but I'm not gonna do that today. So that's everything. That's what I do every day, just to get ready. <laughs> I hope that was exciting for you. I hope that you learned a couple new things. Um, if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe. Subscribe, which is all over the place. Ah. Um, I hope that you have a good day and hope you, I don't know, enjoyed everything. Have a good rest of the day. Okay, bye.